Powers and Roots Standard Form Calculating with Adam Maths Tutor. We can calculate with standard form using operations multiply, divide, add, and subtract. The quickest way to multiply with standard form is to multiply the number by the number. 3 times 3 is 9. And lastly, the times 10 to the power multiplied by times 10 to the power. Because the base numbers are the same, we can use the multiplying rule for indices where we just add the indices together. So this would be 9 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 6, which is 11. With division, we can do the same, but we'll be dividing instead. So 2.4 divided by 2 is 1.2, and 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of 3. We can use the division rule for laws of indices, meaning we can subtract. So the final answer would be 1.2 times 10 to the power of 8 minus 3, which is 5. Adding and subtracting with standard form is slightly different. There is a way of doing it by changing the powers so that they represent the same indice. I've found this in the past to cause quite a few problems and mistakes with pupils. So often the easiest way is just to write down what the numbers are and physically add them together before putting them back into standard form. 3 times 10 to the power of 6 is 3 million. Adding this onto 2000, just lining our numbers up from the right hand side. Adding these together, we can now see it as an ordinary number, and we can change this back into standard form. The significant figures are 3002, so between 1 and 10, 3.002, times by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Lastly, we have the subtraction. Again, writing down the first number, which is 8,000, and subtracting 200, we get 7,800 meaning our final answer in standard form would be 7.8 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3. Roll me all done. Bish bash bush. On to the intermediate questions with a slight increase in difficulty. 7 multiplied by 9 is 63 and 10 to the power of 9 times by 10 to the power and 10 to the power of 9 times by 10 to the power of negative 4 would be the same as timesing by 10 to the power of 9 and then we would need to add negative 4. This would be the same as 9 take away 4, which would leave us with 10 to the power of 5. Now the problem with leaving our answer like this is they asked us to leave our answer in standard form. The format of standard form requires the front number to be between 1 and 10. At the moment this isn't, so we need to change this. We can do this by dividing the front number by 10. And that would leave us with the same digits, but would be 6.3 instead. And to compensate, we can multiply this number by 10, meaning that we end up with the same number overall. So the final answer would be 6.3 times 10 to the power of 6. A fraction represents the same as division. So if easier, we can change it to this format, starting off with 8.1 divided by 9, which is 0.9. And then we have 10 to the power of negative 1 divided by 10 to the power of negative 2. This would be the same as negative 1. And because we're dividing, we'll need to subtract. And we're subtracting negative 2. Negative 1 subtract negative 2 has the same impact as doing negative 1 plus 2. So the final answer would be 0 0.9. So the answer would be 0 0.9 times 10 to the power of 1. This will then need to be amended, so to change this to a number between 1 and 10, we would need to multiply this number by 10, and therefore we would need to divide this number by 10. This would be 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 0. 10 to the power of 0 is 1, so 9 multiplied by 1 would just give us 9. 3.7 times 10 to the power of negative 1 is 0 0.37. 1.1 times 10 to the power of 0, or 1.1 times 1, will just stay the same. So this can be written as 1.10 underneath. Adding these together, we get 1.47. And putting this back into standard form, the significant figures are already between 1 and 10. So therefore, the answer would be 1.47 multiplied by 10 to the power of 0, which can just be written as 1.47. Lastly, we have 84,000 minus 830. This gives us 83,170. The significant figures are 8317. 
So between 1 and 10, 8.317, multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. In May 2000, and on to the advanced question, which is one of the trickiest types of questions that you can find to do with calculating standard form. In May 2019, the distance between Earth and Mars was 3.9 times 10 to the power of 7 kilometers. A signal was sent from Earth to Mars. Assuming that the signal sent from Earth to Mars travelled at a speed of 3 times 10 to the power of 5 kilometers per second, how long did it take to get to Mars? So this question is referring to distance, speed, and asking how long something took to do with the time. So we'll need to use our relationship between speed, distance, and time, where speed equals distance divided by time. Because they're asking us how long the signal took, that's going to be referring to the time. So we cover this one up, and that tells us that we need to do our distance, which is at the top, divided by our speed, which is at the bottom. So starting off with our distance, which they told us was 3.9 times 10 to the power of 7, we need to divide this by our speed, which we were told was 3 times 10 to the power of 5. 3.9 divided by 3 is 1.3, and 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of 5 is 10 to the power of negative is 10 to the power of 2. Because the question didn't tell us to leave our answer in standard form, we could have written this as 130 seconds instead. Lastly, the speed of the signal sent Lastly, the speed of the signal sent from Earth to Mars in May 2019 was actually less than 3 times 10 to the power of 5 kilometers per second. How will this affect your answer to part A? So the distance will be remaining the same, but will be dividing by a speed which has actually decreased, so is less, so is smaller. If you divide a number by a smaller amount, the amount you end up with is actually going to increase. A nice way of thinking about that is if you had to share the same size packet of sweets with less people, you would end up with more sweets at the end. So therefore it will take more time and it will take longer for the signal to get from Earth to Mars. Before you go, take a look at these solutions which I've made for some questions. Before you go, take a look at the solutions which I've written for some questions. It appears as though I've made some mistakes. See if you can either tell me what they are or make some corrections in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found that video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. If you're struggling with maths or finding topics difficult, you can subscribe and turn on notifications to receive regular updates about new video tutorials. Don't forget to visit my website adammathstutor.com for a full searchable list of all topics with exams, questions and solutions. You can also visit me on social media using the handle at adammathstutor on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. All links in the description below.